copy with Kian. <laughs> what? what? Yeah. Is it worse or going? No, I said as good as any other copy with Kian. That is such a yeah, that's kind of backhanded compliment. <laughs> what can we mean? just stop and start, please? Just okay, start. Okay, I'm just just go. Go. I have been on copy with Kian several times, and I always feel good before. I start. That's true. Oh, okay. There hey guys, go. just for practice pur purpose, you gotta enunciate a little bit more. And keep in mind, the mics are right below you. <laughs> Your voice may travel, but most likely it's gonna draw. So that should be a perfect spot. Make sure you articulate every single word. But with that being said, how are you feeling right now? Yeah. We're waiting for beer. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> We're waiting. Virginia saw what? She's like, it's not 4:30 yet. Virginia's part of our production crew. She's <laughs> it's not 4:30. 4:30. Get your facts straight. Oh, I thought it was beer. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're live. Yeah. Have yeah. you been on coffee with Kim before? I have been on coffee. I've seen a ping pong game with Kim. Are we live? I'll share it. That's right. That's right. right. It's also going on your skills update, too. I need to know how you're feeling first before I can come in. That's the expression I said for you, right? It's very Because that's what I'm anticipating what I'm dealing with. How are you feeling, guys? I feel great. I'm feeling awesome. Let's talk about yesterday's events. We had such a ball. <laughs> Time to make it happen. Way to take all of your shirt. Um, what are you wearing, Macy? I am wearing a squid hat from the squid company. They was handing them out. Um, guy over there, what's his name? Rich? Zach. 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 Shout out to Zach. 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 Shout out to and, uh, Zach. And, uh, <laughs> and Russell, a good friend of mine. Russell as well. Uh, hooked us up with these hats right here. Talk about a lot, of, a lot of things they were doing with pairing with Lightning um, in their session. So it was a really good time. So yeah, I got the hat. It's kind of fitting. I like it. It's got the whole blue thing going on here with the socks. <laughs> <laughs> Fit the blues. Where everybody probably feel that this is a little odd. Uh, while we're all in semi costume me. Or socks up, coordinating events. This is our entire Salesforce division. Have a round of applause for our entire Salesforce team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have accomplished some, and hopefully lots more to come. And the reason I use some is we have a really good wave, really good buzz going on for quite some time now, especially IT works. But each, every single one that you see in front of you represents something that's very different because that's their, their brand, their region, uh, each different area, the people that they touch. Great to be clients or candidate, or sometimes both. We will not show who you are. But <laughs> so, shall we introduce ourselves first? Hello, I'm Chelsea, Salesforce team, Canada. <laughs> Erica, and this is my colleague, Kazia, we're in the Northeast. Yeah, north with east with <laughs> <laughs> I'm Allie, and I have my juries uh, Washington D.C., Pennsylvania, and all the areas. I'm Jay Disquay. My area is Texas, over to Mississippi, and all the states in between. And I'm Jared Wagner, and I manage the Midwest area. Mark Brazil, southeast with my man Maceo over here. Maceo Woods, southeast. Salesforce <laughs> 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 team. Uh, yeah. 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 team, everybody. Yeah. You're lucky you started super strong. I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, we came back from a great event yesterday. We're going to be at Dreamforce in November, so this was a really great way for us to really kick off and really understand what our kiosk is going to look like, what does the clientele look like, and, and actually ended up like this was a free event in Atlanta and for it to be a free event they went all out and so that's why we're actually wearing these trailblazer socks we got a chance to provide a little bit of feedback on how their applications work how the trail uh, how the trails work how, which is a free training site for Salesforce you can learn how to be an administrator a developer um, a technical all the way up to a technical architect and even principal technical architect and so you fill out the little feedback and you get Get these socks. wonderful socks. Yeah. Shout out to Salesforce. You guys Yay. Are <laughs> yeah, and according to taking the words from Trail Hat, I think one of the uh, beginner badges, mm -hmm. they say the Trail Trail Hat is actually really for learning more about Salesforce. what's to come in Salesforce, but also have a little fun with the people that are yeah. doing this. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. All right. So with the, with the entire Trail Hat life experience, what has it been like for you? It's mind blowing how mm -hmm. incredible like everything is with Salesforce, the community, the, the, the just being there was just fascinating. It's a lot of good energy. You can, uh, sorry. So you can, def you can definitely feel how much um, Salesforce actually cares about their customers and about their community, because we can definitely feel the vibe, feel the energy, and definitely we were felt a part of the team at Salesforce Trail Headline. Uh, for me, it was very informative, um, the Einstein, what it can do 
was just phenomenal. I mean, it's really a thinking program on its own. Um, and it's always giving you suggestions on how to make your business better. And then actually able to meet with a lot of different uh, clients and candidates there that use this on a day-to-day basis was, was really good. I mean, for me personally, I did a, uh, I got a badge. I was trying to build an app through Salesforce. Um, for me, the experience was pretty good because I'm out here um, recruiting for Salesforce positions, but I actually got a chance to do it the people that I'm recruiting, what they actually need to do on the job. And I thought that was kind of awesome that they allowed you to do that. It was on a, uh, I can't remember what the interface was, but it was fairly easy. I felt good. I ended up getting a little bit because I made an app. So it, it, it was what I thought it would be, something that was really, really um, showcasing all of Salesforce, um, everything. So for me, it was just something that was I, ne- I didn't really expect. Yeah, it's funny because that you get to participate as a, I believe the term was business user, which go. essentially mm-hmm. as an end user. You also get to participate as an administrator or as a developer. So really, the opportunity to walk into somebody's shoes, literally going <laughs> through that trail, I think that was something that really stood out for me. And like oh, you yeah. said, that we all think that what makes a great system, a great CRM in this case for Salesforce, but really is how intuitive it is and also mm-hmm. how not just beyond easy to use, but also make it really personable mm-hmm. and then uh, comes back to everybody. I think um, Salesforce is really leading the way as far as new technology goes, uh, especially with CRM. The whole AI universe is is just, it's really exciting. And we got to see just a little touch of that and what Salesforce is doing with uh, artificial intelligence or what they say is augmented intelligence. It's very, very exciting and incredibly innovative. And I cannot wait to see what comes out in the near future. That's cool. It's funny that that's actually exactly what I wrote down too. It's not just about AI, artificial intelligence, which most people have been talking about it for the past decade. And really, I think it was a major buzz in the past two, three years in the tech world. And now it seems like it's ready there everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, and Einstein is, is fairly new. I know when I started with IT Works, uh, lightning <laughs> components were becoming a, a huge thing, and they had not released Einstein. Um, so seeing, seeing the way that Einstein has kind of um, encompassed the whole Salesforce instance in, in, in anyone's um, organization, and really just how it puts this data together, and it makes it so easy for folks who don't have as much coding experience mm-hmm. um, to really focus on some more important things like the technical architect um, aspect or even the administration uh, piece. So that was really incredible. So many aha moments. Yeah. Yes. I think that um, just for anybody who doesn't know, um, Einstein is the cutest little nickname that um, <laughs> Salesforce has given AI. Um, so AI is referred to as Einstein, but it's baked into every single one of the clouds and throughout their entire platform. So when we say Einstein, we mean AI um, in the Salesforce world. So just for you guys that don't know that. Who doesn't um, love Einstein too? Yeah. <laughs> I think we all left with a crush Gotta be a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It makes a nerd to know and a nerd to love a nerd. Yeah. Right. And you can see many of our pictures on our LinkedIn profiles <laughs> and Facebook. We have lots of pictures with the actual Einstein mascot, and he is adorable. Yeah. Also on Instagram too. I yes. We took lots of pictures. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you for pinpointing that, Erica, and then Chelsea, and iterating on that because for all the Accomplic Key and, and also potentially IT Works um, audience as well. I asked the same question when a uh, very enthusiast vendor was trying to explain everything to us. I think we're, we're going to talk about a little bit more about that, the people that we met. <coughs> and then uh, the first question after 15 minutes spiel, the first question I asked is, so can you help me understand what Einstein really is? Is it a module? Is it a, a feature? Is it a service? And then until someone clicked, oh, it's just like Alexa for Mm-hmm. Yeah. Am- for Echo, yeah. Amazon, mm-hmm. and then uh, so on and so forth, or Siri for iPhone mm-hmm. or iOS system. Mm-hmm. You really now that Einstein is that figure. I want to say person because it's not quite a person, but it's, it's really a figure. Like and it's embedded every single feature. So 11 products, the 21 tags mm-hmm. with the mm-hmm. Salesforce. Right, right. That's fascinating. Mm-hmm. And it's very forward looking. Mm-hmm. Yes. Extremely forward looking. Everyone in Salesforce knows what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with Rachel Flash, our HR manager's finger. No, let me start dropping the word disclaimer. That's useful. Yeah. <laughs> Statement. And then we learn about safe, um, safe harbor safe too. Harbor. Safe harbor. Yeah. That was very, yeah. very cool. I was really impressed with Einstein and its predictability um, aspect. I thought that was really cool. Definitely will help a lot of people um, save time when they're, when they're uh, planning their day out. So 
that would really impress me about Einstein as well. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's the thing about the people that we met. Yeah. How do you feel about everybody that you met yesterday, interacted with yesterday? They all love Salesforce mm -hmm. very much. <laughs> yeah, they're very excited about Salesforce. Mm -hmm. The energy that they put out about Salesforce was um, infectious. So that I took away. I, I met a couple of girls from uh, Delta Airlines that I sat beside, um, and they were so so involved and so um, informative. Just for the five minutes that I got to talk to them um, about what they do in Salesforce, so I took that away. <laughs> really, that's very cool. cool. It's definitely a strong sense of community for the Salesforce. <laughs> No, I mean the the detail that they put mm -hmm. into this. Mm -hmm. Like there was there was you know pieces of wood that were kind of stacked up like it was a fireplace around this little area that you kind of have this little kumbaya moment. Yes. Yeah. The, food, the food there, they had these marshmallows that were dipped in chocolate, rolled in graham crackers mm. to kind of give the whole um, you know Smart trailblazer tin foil pack. Mm -hmm. like that yeah. Oh my gosh! Too. Like, Delicious. All the way down to like the lighting of how they put like the blue lights on everything really gave you that experience of actually being in this like theatrical mm -hmm. type of performance. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was really mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I met with a lady who actually works for Salesforce and she was able to break down the type of certifications that one could say someone would need and how much things would cost and how much for updating your uh, certifications would be. So for example, uh, your administrator certification would be about $200 and then it's, it updates three times a year. So as long as you are staying a current with that, you only have to pay $100 per year to keep your certifications going. And also a lot of questions that we get, I know I talk to a lot of candidates that are not certified that like to ask, well, I don't want to fail the test and waste $200. Well, if you fail the test, it's nothing but another $50 just to go back in and take it again. So knowing that information and actually able to point other candidates in that, uh, to where they need to be was actually very informative and uh, took a lot away from that. Um, one thing I really appreciated was the clients talking so much about uh, Salesforce. The mm -hmm. one, actually, they were doing a presentation for Salesforce, and that is one of the things I, for us, we want our clients to be able to talk about what we do for our not only clients but also the candidates. It's so rewarding having clients talking so well about a product. And that's one of the things I would like to achieve as well, that having clients and, and Canada talks well about me and my product. So that was awesome for me to watch. <laughs> they already got a tissue box. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a great point because I think that Swiss Kitchen will be they re refer that as customers. Well, then obviously, our clients again are our customers, but just how well spoken, not just the Salesforce core group and employees, presenters, but also how well the customer have presented with the passion they love about the system, the product. That was great. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's trace that from the beginning, because from the keynote, obviously we went through super early day, from 7.30 we were at the Ooh. Georgia Congress Center, which mm -hmm. thank you for the entire Congress Center for taking such a great care of us. Yes. Yeah, from that such, such an early day through about 9.30, 9.45 for the keynote, what's your thought about Brad Taylor's keynote? Uh, it, was a, it, was, it was kind of inspiring to know Really? <laughs> Everybody ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't let him on camera it's much. Sorry for the loud noise. Yeah. Sorry, nice. as you can see, he doesn't get on TV much. Even yeah. the best ideas fall flat sometimes. <laughs> From Scotland? Everybody, Ray Gilbert, everyone. Ray Gilbert. <laughs> 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 we missed a great party yesterday. Right, he that was did. Great. He, he was supposed to be there. Yeah. He was supposed yeah. to be there. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> to go back from the from the keynote, uh, it was very inspiring. He he really laid it down to actually what you are prepared for for the day, where you where you're going to see Salesforce is going. Um, if you never knew anything about Salesforce and this was your first time ever going and you heard their keynote speaker, you were inspired to get involved. Uh, it, it really got you, it was more of an icebreaker for everything that was so overwhelming in the beginning after their keynote speaker. It just kind of just relaxed you for a moment and let you just take everything in. So. Yeah, I actually had chills at a certain point yeah. Yeah. Watching, yeah. Oh, yeah. watching what, not just Salesforce, but our world, our generation is putting out there and watching just that first video that we watched where they had um, Electric Love playing in the background yeah. and just, it was like, it really got me pumped. Right. I love the fact that he um, brought out what the mission is and 
the fact that they, um, Salesforce is just an equal opportunity um, company and uh, market. So that really uh, resonated in me, um, that I'm working uh, in a system in a, in a market that is so uh, giving back to the community. And uh, that's something that I took away with that. It's down to really the core product, what the product is able to produce, to yeah. generate, and make it easier to use, but also be able to customize customize and also personalize for mm -hmm. literally any business. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think that, that was really super cool. Mm -hmm. yes. And then the fact that it's not oversold, mm -hmm. um, it's purely about the passion for technology to be better, better. and yeah. to be keep perfecting the whole process too. I thought that was extremely liberating. Mm -hmm. There was oh sorry, there was yes. one demo where we actually saw on stage where a customer to uh, to um, uh, agent and uh, the conversation basically the customer called and was like, hey I have a problem. This needs fixing, I don't know how to fix it. They were actually able to kind of FaceTime each other and the agent was able to walk the customer through on how to fix their product. That is amazing. Which I will to praise the, the lady that did such a great job yeah. in the presentation, but I cannot yeah. remember her name. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> so, yeah, we need to definitely find her. I know you see her in Dreamforce for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, yeah, she did a great presentation. It also showcased a lot of the versatility mm -hmm. of what the product is able to afford and really make, should we think about, oh, great, now to call the helpline or the 1-800 Right. Numbers. I'm going to talk to somebody who doesn't know what they're talking yeah. about. <laughs> yeah, and it's much more beyond what we know, what Einstein has done mm -hmm. internally, granted being Coca-Cola being Delta Airlines, mm -hmm. lots of names that we know and um, being around for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. so. above, and, above and beyond anything for me is that we work for IT Works, but every company that was at this event was a part of Salesforce. Mm -hmm. It was that company that encompassed the culture of Salesforce, which I, I you know, we, we pride ourselves in here at IT Works. It, you don't have to. You don't have to work for Salesforce, but being working alongside and partnering with that organization, it makes you a part of that culture, and, uh, and it's so refreshing. And, and it's one of the things that you know we have to thank IT Works and, and Gary Dider and Kian and even Ray who messed up our microphone. <laughs> <laughs> that we get to kind of live that and bring some of that culture back with us and, and really, really embed it in our culture here. I think. I think some one of the biggest points of the culture. And what I experienced while I was there was the passion. I mean, it was every presenter, everybody had a certain level of passion that matched the person before them, and the person that came after them tried to match that. And to me, that sells and that makes me believe more than anything when everybody, not one or two, but everybody's on the same page as far as the passion for the company, the product. I didn't see anybody with their head held down. I didn't see anybody not wanting to finish their presentations. Everybody came out strong. And they made you a believer. I mean, when I got home, my wife asked me, like, what exactly did you guys do there? Because you didn't have anything to bring. But I kind of had to tell her that it was more like iPhone presenting the newest thing and everybody that's made an app for it showing up at the same time, just making it a great event. So you didn't really have to be um, a particular person that had an app or you got Salesforce or work on it. If you just was inside the room, you were going to be rejuvenated and excited about what was going on. And it's just going to force you to find out what is Salesforce all about? And for me, oh, yesterday was just an amazing event. I've been to events similar, but not like that. Nothing like that. It's funny, we can easily talk about it as a party, as a uh, great time. time. You know, there's music. I believe that I can <laughs> disclose DJ. that. Live DJ, there was also, obviously, um, adult beverage involved later in the afternoon. Amen. All involved into the great hospitality or what Salesforce it was able to um, to produce for us as well. But all of them is that passion, but also there's a strong sense of purpose. Oh, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They That's definitely true. know the purpose is so at that time they didn't have to oversell. I think that ties back into very well about why we do what we do. Yeah. I agree. I mean biggest, why we're here. Biggest purpose for me was having Macy and I walk down the hall and have people recognize <laughs> us. <laughs> hey we're, I mean, okay. It, it really, it really yeah, does it solidify yeah. the whole expert. In the <laughs> Granted, that it's, it's given doing what I do, and actually, company that every, oh, every single one of you is, but I have helped to hire, train, develop in the in the beginning in the. Um, at the beginning stage of the trailhead, mm -hmm. put it in that perspective, and then uh, to have that, we know that's gonna happen. But really, to really see it happen yeah. in life, that's a completely different yeah. experience. Yeah. It solidifies everything. You guys should have been on a couple of cloud lines yesterday. It was a bad experience. Oh yeah, it was. It was. We walked by and um, 
Luciano find out, find us, he found us in the uh, in the keynote. He was like, "Hey, I'm here." And I was like, "Oh, wow!" Like he, he does know us. I mean, we talked to him a lot, but it was just surreal to see that someone we've never physically met just over phone conversations, you know, picked us out. It's like, "Hey, I'm here, I'm here." And it was just it was just a great experience. So I ran into a couple like that as well. And yeah, Luciano in Iowa, helped oh, me yeah. in the backstage. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys make sure he sees this video. I was yeah. yeah. shout out to him. I also want to do a special shout out with one lady to um, Heather Dykstra. I think I thought she did a great job with the cat rescue app. Oh so, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. Super, yeah. super cool. <laughs> yeah, and also I believe Jones, um, Jones Wynn, and he was a great um, um, software engineer. I think at Sports with Salesforce. He did a lightning demonstration. Also, he was involved in most of the Salesforce theater for each introduction for each different cloud system. I thought he was brilliant. So Ken, what did you think? You're, you're, uh, you don't, yeah. you don't get to talk about Salesforce day in and day out. So now for you to come with us and experience one of these conferences. So number one, I'm extremely jealous. <laughs> uh, I'm a healthcare biotech background. I thought that people thought that life tech, uh, life sciences, have biotech is always the, you know, mm. being known as the cool, hip, innovative. But saw that something that's such a people-oriented mm -hmm. system, and also, also the purpose is to make things better, and then and also they strive to be the best CRM, similar to who strive to be the expert in our, in our market, and I think that there's a lot of similar goals, purpose, passion behind that, I think it all underpins, semi-solidify what we do, what we do, what we love so much. And I personally got out a lot from every single workshop that we have attended. And really, I was really proud of us because sometimes we go to events, especially you thought you're going to a traditional networking event, bring your business card, plan things through. You think that you're going for a, a seminar or workshop to learn. I think we came in with a with a, a little bit of a mixed goal, um, purpose, but also walk down now through the day. We really come into the entire day just make the best out of everything. And I think that it's beyond learning, beyond meeting, building relationships, beyond business development. It's, it's really about the people at the end of the day. It's a real experience. So, it's a real experience. Yeah. And I had a great time hanging with all of you. Yeah. <laughs> you made it super, yeah. super, super, super <laughs> special. <laughs> You're welcome. And with the theme of Trailhead, Kian was our camp counselor. Was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Glad to be your camp counselor every day. Hopefully I drink for it. <laughs> so, um, Anything else I would like to add based for the uh, event yesterday, people you met, and then uh, your experience through it all? Shout out to some of the vendors that were there. Mm -hmm. um, I found out that uh, even, even though Salesforce is really a robust system, I mean, speaking from experience, I used Salesforce in my early career, where Salesforce was really just used to input the information about the customer, the contact, and what we spoke about, and that was really it. And from where it's come from now, well, it's a whole different story. So same thing with the iPhone, you got people that build apps. So I want to give a shout out to, to uh, Backup is the name of the company. What I didn't know is that the information that you have on Salesforce, Salesforce doesn't back it up for you. That's something that you have to do. And that particular company brought that out. And I thought that was really, really um, important for those that didn't know. Uh, they got a system where they back up everything that you have on Salesforce immediately. Um, they told me that if you call Salesforce, they can do something, but they won't be able to get your information. So what Salesforce to me is enabling other people to do is to complement the system, help people out and keep them on the system because I know if you can't back up information, some people will decide to change the way they do business. That's a very different mindset too because traditionally we think about we need to guard our client information, our customers. But Salesforce made it very inclusive in terms of it's all about the partners that help us make the company really end. Squid is another prime example. They also have a workforce Squidify. That's super, super impressive. So Squidify. I thought that, would, uh, yeah, we'd really shout out. Can we make sure that we all come and share with these vendors and then the partners that we have met as well? And thanks to Backup for the beer glasses as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I forgot that, but definitely thank you. All right, anybody else? Uh, I met with Bradley. He works with uh, with Doug down at Delta. Uh, Doug, your team represented you very well. Uh, they were very professional, very friendly. I mean, a lot of us kind of sat and talked with each individual at some point in time. So just let you know that uh, the team that you have right there, you're you're grooming them the right way. Really, I really like talking with you. <laughs> Says Maceo. So anything were to happen, please talk to Maceo. <laughs> He'll give you socks if you send out a comment card. There you go. There you go. I'm not gonna be as fancy as these, but they'll be. Some 
socks. <laughs> See, hands, hands white. And socks. Right. Right. <laughs> Got a pack of ten. Yeah, a pack of ten. <laughs> Buy Tim, get two fruit. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh, give a shout out to Max, which is the name of the company. Those are the guys that digitize coupons. So back in my day, I used to sit down with my grandmother and we used to cut out coupons like for hours. In the 70s? Oh. In, the, in, the, in, the, in the early 90s. God bless you, Grandma. But I thought that his idea and what he had going on was the best because right now you get all if you join them all the coupons that come on it are automatically digitally downloaded to your to your phone and when you go to the register they don't have to look at each product they can just scan it and if it's in the bag if it's any of the stuff that you uh, that you purchase it automatically gets a discount so you don't have to go through and save anything can you grab mark's cane please <laughs> <laughs> come back please can you bring my coffee over too <laughs> Trying to demonstrate oh. something. Here we, are. Here we are. Oh, oh. Oh. we traded up the cans for hoverboards now. So wow. No cans That's for the impressive. No cans for the old man. Impressive. And I'll take a seat with it. Nice. Thank you, Jared, for the cane. Jared. Remind me, I have a CBS question for you guys. I was thinking about that when he was talking about. I was thinking about oh, CBS receipts. Yeah. 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 Which, will, which will make a great Halloween costume. I know somebody did that already. Thank you. We're uh, yeah, CBS yeah. receipts. Just go in as a CBS receipt. Yeah. I like so. I just want to say one more thing. Uh, we are headed to Dreamforce, as we said, and uh, we just received our big prize in the mail. So Woo. really, really exciting. You guys should stay tuned in to find secret. out what it is. If you rewind this, you might be able to see it while yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We won't think about what time in the second when it happened, yeah. but you may or yeah. may not have seen it. You may think that's what it is, but it may not be. <laughs> <laughs> What it's does mystery remains. It's a yes. box and another box. <laughs> when is Dreamforce? When is Dreamforce? November 6th. Yes. November 6th. November 6th, November 6th, November 6th, 6th California. Uh, and tune in to Coffee with Kian on November 4th, right before we leave, so you can get all of the updates. And details. Tune in to Coffee with Kian every Friday. Every Friday. Every Friday. Friday. Every Friday. Every we Friday. actually have a lot of Salesforce opportunity and the topic to go through. We'll probably actually go through. A few region by region, eventually an individual by individual, and with lots of more opportunity for you to go through it. And uh, please tune in back in Coffee Kia at 3 30, Eastern Standard Night every Friday afternoon. Thank you for Salesforce. Dream away. Woo! That must be a signature to Wu Park.